This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time to find the Master Magician Go Gogan. Hopefully he's not gone senile over the ages, or perhaps he's uh, become a little more tricksy, as it were. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Hold on back here with another episode of Ark the Lad 3 in the last episode. We finished cleaning up a lot of monster outlaws. There's still a few more left, but for now we've covered, I think, most of them. Uh, and we do it. We could have done some quests before then, but I thought, yeah, let's go go find Gogan. So uh, we were set to go to Jaharda and get a quest there, and someone apparently knows his location. So let's see what he let's see what we find. If we have any new dialogue, I might just skim through some of these. I don't remember. I know some people have some extra dialogue. Oh yeah, already talking about uh, illegal. Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, she tells us where we need to go, but I need to grab the quest, though, first. Hmm. Okay, nothing from you. I know some of the ladies in town mentioned Gogan specifically. Yeah, it's always hard to remember, like, every single character what they all say, so. Yeah, they just popped up out of nowhere, like gosh darn jack-in-the-boxes. Whoops. Actually, I don't even think he said... Anything new? I think we've seen that dialogue before. I know the Gosper ladies say something. Yeah, one person. One person only. Nah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. He's kind of like those weird, creepy old dudes that you see in anime and stuff like that. Really? They just dis... Uh, all the ladies in the night have disappeared. Oh. Well, what good are you? Oh. Well, Bunyan... I've never had Bunyan, so I don't know. I guess we could just do the quest. I was just seeing if anyone had any interesting dialogue. Yeah, we've got one of those. Yeah, I could show it to you. Shining armor. I think the mystery armor I've got is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you guys usually don't have anything to say. Or usually, anyway. There might be some conversation, but nothing I really care to look up. Yeah, we already did all the quests. At least right now. Uh, after we do the Gogan event, more side quests will open up, so... Okay, nothing from you. Yeah, I guess nothing from you upstairs as well. But yeah, more side quests will open up, so I don't want to get too far behind in terms of doing quests. Because I think there's like three I could do right now. So so after this Gogan quest, we'll take care of those and maybe take care of more of the uh, uh, quests that open up as soon as you finish up the Gogan uh, quest. There'll be more, like, I think six more pop up or something like that. So... Yeah, the, the next couple of missions, probably after this, will be me doing side quests. So, alright, let's do, let's go to the Hunter's Quest. I guess there wasn't really much in the way of entertaining dialogue. Oh, well. Alright, how about you guys? Yep, I'm on a big, huge job. You can't get away from this job. Yep. Okay, yeah, they are freaks. Alright, anyway, when we uh, do everything we currently do, we can go do uh, semi six. Interview Master Magic Master Gogan. Find Master Magic Master Gogan is information about stealing stealing the Dark One. A hunter working at the Spell Institute can provide Gogan's current whereabouts. A hunter at the Spell Institute, Rushalt, knows where Gogan is. Ask him for details. Alright, let's go to the Spell Institute and see what they have to offer. Hopefully they're not just being a bunch of nerds over there. Nerds! Even though I'm a nerd. Actually, I'm not sure what I uh, call myself. Does nerds technically indicate someone of vast intelligence? But I don't know if I'd say I'm someone of vast intelligence. Uh, I, By the way, I'm going to the temple just to see if there's any dialogue over there. Probably not. No. Oh. <laughs> this phenomenon of gaining uh, energy, huh? Okay. Well, anyway. Nerd t technically indicates that it's someone with some you know, great intelligence that, uh, that, you know, they have some oddities about them, but they're usually pretty intelligent. Geek usually means someone that's into something, but not really intelligent, but they like something a lot, so they kind of put themselves into it. And then there's, like, the spazzes, which are people that are into something, but they are so, so hyperactive about it that it kind of turns you off a little bit. And then a weeb is someone who just, like, physically and mentally are, like, like something, but they're you know, skittish or like, you know, weak, weak willed or weak, weak bodied, but they still like the, the hobby anyway, that type of thing. I think there's some others, but 
Oh yeah, he was part of the Seven Braves. Multiple times. One in the past, and then one during Ark, Ark and Elk's type of Ark in the first game, and then helping Elk in the second game. But then he was one of the original Braves way back in the like hundreds of years ago. Oh. Well apparently everyone thought he was dead in the first game too, but he's but he's alive and kicking. Okay, I think these guys have the same dialogue. Yep, alright. Yeah. Uh, this game did not pull a uh, dark, uh, Dragon Quest where, like, every single major instant caused every single character to have different dialogue. It was insane. Okay, you're not gonna be. I forgot you're the shop. But yeah, that game's crazy. Well, at least the DS games, anyway. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I just told him what I knew about, like, the, like, bitchin' legend. Okay. Sometimes I forget they have dialogue through that every once in a while. No. Well, I mean, how long how long can he live exactly? Like, what is his uh, what is his magic uh, attunement to the point where you know how long can it extend his life? Because he's already old now, and he's been around for like hundreds of years. So, good job. Your water crumble was not bad. The execution of the air blast was flawless. Excuse me, I was looking for someone with information about. Try the training hall. I'm sure you're looking for the tough hunter that just showed up. Tough? How'd she know? Huh. Okay. This was also exciting. Today was the first time I've used my skill in a real life person. Uh, Hunter was a difficult foe, but it was a great practice. I hope he's okay. There's a hunter in the hall who seems to be quite tough. Sorry, I think I need to go practice my water crumble spell now. Please excuse me. Well, I guess like anything, it needs practice. Every student of Gaia Magic needs to be thoroughly aware of the effects of spells before using them. Being unfamiliar, spells can hurt innocent bystanders or the spellcaster. Except for us, it never comes into play. Because we can never hurt our allies. I wonder if the hunters know how much we appreciate the work. This game could have done the D&D &D idea where you can actually hurt your own characters if you're not paying attention. Unless you play the easy version of the game. There are versions of that game where you can turn it on easy mode and it doesn't hurt allies. But normal in normal game difficulty, and like the Baldur's Gates games and stuff like that, if you use like a fireball and your allies run away, they get hit with a fireball. Number five may cast light arrow. Hey, wait, isn't that that one guy? Yeah! So what did that feel like? What do you think it felt like? It was like a damn giganter shock from the top of my damn head to the tip of my ache and tailbone. Oh, valuable information. So wait, they're doing live testing? I guess if the guy hired, was hired for this or is okay with this, I guess it's fine, but... Anything to help, it's my pleasure. All right, now, are you ready for the next? Uh, I guess so. <clears throat> I don't know how I'd feel like... <clears throat> I don't know how I'd feel like being blasted with magic all the time. All right, now, I'm cast Cure. Cure! I do like when in games they actually use spells or mechanics in the actual story, because a lot of times it's just a game mechanic that you can cast magic, but it's never actually utilized in the story. That's kind of why I liked Final Fantasy IV did that a couple of times, which was neat. So, you know. So how'd that feel, Tinkeron? I felt like silk sheets on payday. That's what? Mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. Good. Thank you, Tinkeron. I guess he's telling them what the results of their spells are on him, like how they actually feel. I'm quite pleased you agreed to help us here. Ah, oh, this is nothing. I was glad to help out. All right, who's next? I'm next. I'll be casting Heat Shell. A uh, Heat? That's the guy from the trial cave, isn't it? Yeah, Tangaron, yeah, helped us a long time ago. Someone did mention he was going on journeys and stuff like that, I guess is where he went and ended up at. Yeah, it's the fruitcake we met on Teru Island. Hey, aren't you guys? Hold your horses there, Missy! I, uh, or cast a spell effect. Yeah! <laughs> Hot flashes. It's safer to talk out here, I reckon. But what are you doing here, Tangarin? Laying low, mostly. I took this damn exercise in frustration because the guild description said you didn't have to do nothing. They didn't tell you that was because you were a damn target for a bunch of trigger-happy kids. I sincerely hope the pay is good. Not good enough. Not nearly damn good enough. What are you doing here, anyway? We're looking for information on the whereabouts of Ma Magic Master Gogan. What are you doing something like that for... A lot so strange about that. It's a tough assignment. I'm just surprised you get it. 
they usually only reserve that for the top hunters. So, do you know where he is? Yeah, I know. I'm telling you. I wasn't easy to dig him up. The only reason I found him is because I'm Tengaran. So, what is his location? He's east of Pacis. There's a place called Elbow Cape. He's in a hidden dungeon there. The only reason I found his all is because I saw the damn fool come flying out of the place. Flying. Yep, you heard right. Flying. Yeah, he flies on like a staff or something like that. Like a witch. Thank you so much for the information. Take guard, we're ready for you again. Dot, dot, dot. Well, duty calls. See you around. See you, Tick Aaron. Sure hope so. That he doesn't get killed by all these spells getting blasted in his face. Alright, now we can go to Elbow K, but let's go back and talk to him see if they have any extra dialogue. See what the laser have to say. Okay, you have the same dialogue. Oh, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, he'll probably be fine. Actually, I don't even remember what his level was. Actually, we never got his levels when we helped him, did we? Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. He's kind of frustrated, I think. Okay, that was the same. But yeah, he's back in here testing again, so we can get some uh, dialogue from you ladies. Nah, always, I just go with heat shell. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Need some uh, flex tape for this one. Is he? I thought you were the taskmaster. Nah, I guess it was pretty good. Too pitiful? Or paint? Oh, well, it is heat, so. Nah, you want to hurt them all the same. Casting a spell. Huh, I can now, I can follow the rest of my can. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. No wonder this damn job had such a good reward. Did you say it didn't pay enough, though? Okay, well, anyway. That's it for that. I don't know if anyone else has extra dialogue, but, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, near the end of the game, some of the dialogue doesn't become as entertaining. <laughs> Sometimes you get a couple of lines, like the, the bitch and legend there. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> but it doesn't happen as often as you'd like. This usually happens with a lot of games where a lot of people get pretty good translations or interesting dialogue in the beginning but it seems like by the end of the game they've uh you know run out of steam so they're not trying as hard or something that happens with a lot of games that's usually why a lot of games don't have very good endings nine times out of ten because by the time they've gotten that point they've you know played the game too much or stretched stressed out or whatever so this must be the dungeon that tenkar was talking about i agree is he really here it seems so abandoned let's why don't you call him <laughs> I guess I can. Gogan! Hey, Gogan! Anyone here? Oh, nothing. Maybe this isn't it. Doubtful. I believe that what Tangaran saw was real. Perhaps there is a more persuasive way of summoning him? Well, why don't you try? What? what, what okay. Great master, uh, magic master Gogan. Oh, did it take a hot lady to do it? Yep. Ho, ho, ho! Such sweet words from one so beautiful. Oh, that must be him. See, he is here. We need to tap your wisdom, Gilgan. I think he wants to tap something else. I'll gladly entertain one so beautiful and all who come with her. Yeah, Gogan is basically the typical, you know, perverted old man trope in a lot of these uh, animes and stuff like that. Come in, come in. Although he's not actually that bad in this game. Like, all the games. Like, he's not, like, he flirts with the girls, but never gets, never gets, like, horrendous. You know what I mean? It's just playful banter at most. The path to me is not an easy one, but I'll wait for you here. Or wait for you. Are you sure we didn't end up at a pervert retreat or something? This guy just sounds like a dirty old man. Well, that's, this is the right place. Knock it off. All right, let's go find Gogan, though. But yeah, like they said, they play him off as a dirty old man, but when I played the games, maybe it was the English translation, but it, it, it seemed like it was more playful and silly, more than, like, straight up, you know, nasty like that. Welcome, I have a treat to share, but only for those that deserve it. All right, so the explanation is for... Uh, this basically is a puzzle dungeon, so there's no... Bot, uh, there's no enemy, so all we have to do is solve the puzzles, and we can take as much time as we need to do it. So, the box will attempt to escape when it comes when you one comes near it. The goal is to trap the box and take the contents. Exiting the room resets the puzzle, or you can press triangle 
to do it too, so you could start over again. Uh, okay, so we need to get each each room. You have to get the boxes in a specific place. In this case, we have to get here. However, if I move him currently from a spot, he moves down or up twice and not once. So I have to move him in a position that gets him here. So the way to do that for this room is push him down here, and that'll get him to move up in a line. And as long as we go straight, he'll move away from us. So there we go, and we've trapped him. Strength nut. All right. I need to start using those. I've actually been holding off on using those. Even though I'm powerful enough that I don't actually need to, but... Yeah, we have to do a few rooms like this, so... Ho ho! What a generous old geezer! Take whatever you can catch! Alright. So this one we have to get all... We have to get the boxes into the corner here, so... That way they won't move out of the way, so... Just da 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 There we go. Light amulet received, and a reco pod. All right. And then when you complete it, light flash. Whoops. Light flashes and the dungeons complete, or the rooms complete. Okay. So they they do get harder, but they don't get ridiculously hard. Ho ho! The fun is just beginning, my friends. Take whatever you like. All right. This one's a little bit different because you have to get them trapped in a weird spot so let's move this one up here and then get you there and boom life nut you could probably cat get them somewhere else maybe but this is the easiest way for me to catch them so light fragment all right even though i already have a life stealer but that would have been nice so all right yeah i'm kind of blazing through these but i have a general idea of what i want to do so Ho oh, ho! If two is good, three is terrendous. Take as many as you can. Alright, so we need to take the boxes. So this one, we need to get them all into this corner here. So, Alright, let's move you guys up. Just have to be careful that you don't accidentally, like, uh, <clears throat> push them. Okay. Let's get you over there. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. you up. Alright. see. There you go. There probably was an easier way to do this, but light fragments. Uh, soul herb. And a white talisman. Alright. I think that's the one that gives you like 75% resistance or something like that to white magic. Let me double check really quick. And, oh, right. I can't actually... I can't actually uh, mess with my items in here because of the puzzle area. I have to leave. So, ho ho! There are four to catch now. If you dare. All right, this one's a little bit more tricky because it's four. What we need to do is basically we need to get these guys up into the corner here. So let's see if I can move them like that. Okay, that's good. Now I need to get another one up there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Get him up there so we can catch that guy. Get a light fragment. But yeah, we have to push all of them into the corner here. Okay, that guy's going to move as soon as I get there. So, okay. All right. Just need to get you up there. Okay, got him. All right, recovery tonic. Magic sprig. And... A strength nut. All right. Yeah, getting quite a few uh, buff items. I could actually synthesize quite a few items now if I want to do with these things, but I've got basically the best, uh, some of the best equipment in the game, so I don't really need to mess with that. So, all right. Now we're done with the box puzzles. So we could continue on if we wanted to, but let's uh, let's do the light puzzles now. These are pretty straightforward. These are memorization games. So. Okay, so we just need to step on them uh, as the color is. So step on the panels in the order shown in the example. Playing correctly will light the orbs in order. The red panel will reset the puzzle. So don't look at the torches. Just look at like the lights on the ground because that can throw you off if you're doing that. So This one's pretty easy. It gets tougher. 
But nothing we can't handle. If it really comes that bad, you could always write it down on a piece of paper. If you're bad at memorization. Oh ho, you have a mighty keen eye. Collect your reward ahead. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, like, calming uh, area so that way you don't have to stress it out too much. Well, I guess unless you're not a big fan of puzzles, then you might get stressed out about this, I guess. Live fruit, sprig, palo nut. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, uh, status boosts in this place. Like I said, I probably, I probably have quite a few because I've never... The only ones I've used were the ones at the very beginning. Yeah, now I can use items anywhere because it's in the puzzle room. Yeah, at some point I need to go in and start using all my, all my, uh, yeah, I've got so many pallet nuts, I could probably raise my agility quite a bit, but like I said, it's never come to a point where I've had to worry about it, so, eh, let's see. Yeah, I got the white talisman, oh, maybe it's the light talisman, that, or amulet, that's, yeah, light amulet's the one that greatly reduces damage, so, okay, wait, wait. Alright, let's go to the next light room. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher, yeah, as you can see here, now we got eight. Yeah, sorry, if I'm not saying anything, I'm just trying to pay attention. Even though I generally know what I'm so... The, basically, the sad thing, though, is that these aren't randomized. So if you know the puzzle, or if you know the, the way they're supposed to be lighted, you'll you'll remember it easy every time. This would have been more of a challenge if they, uh, if they randomized it. But they didn't, so... Probably lack of memory. They probably couldn't. If this was made today, it would be randomized. Good work, good. Go forward and collect your reward. Yeah, mainly because of the how, how much memory they could put on a disc. So, and back in the day, actually, I think this game came out pretty late in the PlayStation's life pot, uh, lifestyle, Reco Pot or life. So, potent, uh, potent violent fruit. I don't think I want to eat something like that. But yeah, I was I was thinking like they might have been able to efficiently stack quite a bit of uh, memory on discs at the time. Uh, but I'm not, I've never actually made games for, you know, uh, there's violent, potent violent fruit. Yeah, move, move ups to two. So maximum of seven. So yeah, we could raise our move up stats if we wanted to. Which I, I, I have yet to actually use those on any of the characters because it's always one of those things where you're like, oh, I don't know which one to use it on. You know what I mean? Probably be more useful to use on Alec, you know. But. I'll, I'll probably end up using them at the very end of the game or something like that. But. Yeah, it's not that too crazy, like, in terms of the pattern. Now, if you had to deal with more than five, I'd probably have a bit more trouble. Or at least I'd have to write quite a few things down before it came to that point. I like the music to this place, just in general, just to calm me. It's silly, in a way. Kind of like when we were in, went in the treasure dungeon. Impressive, to say the least. Step forward. All right, let's grab our treasure from here. All right, we get a, another paladin. A battle suit. A suit made of battle. And magic power net. Kind of weird that a potent violet a violet fruit would be what raises your uh, move rate or whatever okay so we're done with the light memorization puzzles now we have like spot yourself puzzles this stair just takes you to an empty area uh because of uh what the puzzle up ahead has we have to drop in we might drop into it depending on what happens know thyself what do you mean by that what the we got clones of Alex here, Alec here. So the way to figure this one out is we have to figure out which one is Alec. So just move up and down. And after a point, if you... So, okay, I know which one I am. I just have to move everyone else. That's the only problem with this. So the easiest way is just to move up and down. There you go. But yeah, if you keep moving up and down and no one else moves up and down but you, then that's what your guy is. What? All right, this one's another one, but this one... Do not fear, find yourself. So this one... Uh, we have to do it a little bit differently because there's, as you can see there, there's edges over there. So if we move left and right, we'll be able to find the rest of us get knocked out. But I already figured out where I am. So same thing. So you want to knock a lot of them off. This one's a little bit another trial room. 
This one's a little bit tougher, but not by much. You just should just do the same thing as before. It's only trialsome if you allow it to be. But this is the same thing. Move left to right until you figure out where you are, which I've, I've already done that. The only problem is getting everyone out of my way. Okay. Yeah, see, as you can tell which one's me. So, And that's it. That's it for the dungeon, so. Yeah, nice and short and sweet. Well, short, depending on how good you are at puzzles. What is this place? The outlets? What are you doing? I know what this is. It's a dead end. Well, I mean, we're not dead, so. <clears throat> we do appear to have reached the end of this particular passage. And no Gogan. Ah, but there is where you are wrong. Show yourself, old man. Whoa. He got more 3Ds since the second game. Ugh. I am Gogan, you see. You are Gogan, but you're so, so, so old. Don't mistake my appearance for weakness, boy. You might find yourself on the wrong end of a plus two's toad spell. What are we doing ner two super nerdery D&D &D terms now? <laughs> well, I, I will. Now then, I welcome, I welcome of sorts. You are the first visitors to make it here since the disaster. I must congratulate you on your intelligence and resolve. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Gogan. Bah, no need to call use the master stuff. Just call me Gogan. Now then, to the more important question, who are you? Well, I was commissioned by Elk to... Ho ho, you're a friend of Elk? That is a worthwhile piece of information. How is he doing? Full of fire, that one was. Yeah, literally and figuratively. He's doing fine, but the condition of the world has turned serious. Like always. You see, the Dark One is about to be revived. What? There's an organization known as the Academy. And so our job has be uh, become to stop that from happening at any cost. We must find a way to seal the Dark One in case they manage to release it. Dot, dot, dot. Elk thought that you might be able to point the way for us. Dot, dot, dot. Do you know anything about how to seal the Dark One? Dot, dot, dot. Go get... I hear you. I was just thinking. Question mark. I'm afraid he can't be sealed. Can't? What do you mean? I mean just that. Can't. You see, the Dark One has been sealed twice already. Twice? The first time was in the ancient era. He was sealed using the art crafted by the Guardians. The art? Wow. Yep. That was before the first game. In fact, I was the one that crafted the seal at that time. But later in time, Romalia broke the seal. And yes, even the Ark, which is the first and second game, technically. Mainly the first game. And that was when the great disaster happened, right? Yes, however, before everything was obliterated, there were two who made a great sacrifice to save the world. Those braves were Ark and Kukuru. Ark and Kukuru. I remember Elk talking about them. They were endowed with the power of bravery and the power of goddess from the Ark. And so, by giving their lives, they could seal the Dark One again. But now, there is no Ark, and the lineage of the bravery and goddess power is expired. There is nothing powerful enough to craft a seal to restrain the Dark One if he is released again. Oh no. If Aunt only Antle hadn't destroyed the Ark. The Ark. Can you make just another Ark, though? Why? Oh, because of the Goddess of Bravery stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the spirits aren't around anymore. Why are you all whining? It's simple to me. All we need is an Ark. Why don't we just make a new one? What? Make an Ark? A new Ark? Yes, why wouldn't that work, Gogan? Dot, dot, dot. Seems easy to me. Gogan, what was the Ark made of? You can't seriously be considering this, can you? Elk told us to find a way to seal the Dark One. We're considering everything. What you're proposing has never been done by humans. Humanity has never been this desperate, has it? Ho ho, good point. It's worth a try. I agree. So tell us uh, how, uh, please. Well, yeah, we'll do all best if you just tell us how to go about it. Huh. Given your extraordinary strength and will, this just might be possible. All right. 
start at the beginning. What did the Ark look like? How tall was it? Did it glow? <laughs> did it glow in the dark? What was it made of? Where was it kept? How did it work? How many... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shout down! Here's why I remember the Ark. It was crafted from the eternal flame, eternal ice, the eternal tree, and eternal steel. Eternal flame, eternal ice, eternal tree, and eternal steel. Got it. However... Yes? Those alone do not make an Ark make. Now you're just playing with us, aren't you? I'm afraid not. It's true that there's more to constructing an Ark than I've told. But now it's not the time to reveal that. To gather these materials will be hard enough. If you manage to get them all, return and I will tell you what remains to be done. Why don't you help us? That's kind of a weird game. But we'll play, so where are the pieces? I don't know. Or don't know. You don't know? What kind of master magic magic master are you? One that does not know where the pieces you need are. You'll have to discover that for yourselves. Why? Isn't, this, isn't the world involved of dying or being destroyed by the Dark One? Wouldn't it help to tell us or at least help look with your magic? Duh! No one said making a new arc would be easy. In fact, I don't believe any has dared to even have such a foolish thought as at all. However, I sense your will is strong. I believe that you can do this, if you believe in yourselves. Oh, don't throw, the, throw that stuff at me. Believe in ourselves? I'm afraid it's the only help I have to offer at this point. It's enough, thank you. So now we need to use the guild to help us search for this stuff, I guess. <clears throat> I assume. Who knew that we would be the ones to make a new arc? Do your best, young braves. Don't we need seven, though? Because there's six of us. Yeah, whatever. I guess it's not a requirement. Hmm, eternal frame, eternal ice. Eternal tree, eternal steel. I've never heard of any of those things. I wonder where they might be. Where do we even begin looking? I'm not sure, but I do know we should tell the Guildmaster what we learned. Right, perhaps he can help point us in the right direction. Sounds good. What are we waiting for? Nothing. Let's head to the Guild in Paltos. Alright. So, yeah, to finish this, we need to go back to Paltos and uh, 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 tell him what we learned. So, we'll, we'll do that call in an episode, I think. And then next episode would be side quests and stuff like that. Probably for a while. But that's fine. I did that when I played the first, uh, uh, or second, uh, Arc the Lad. That, 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 sh that series took me a long time to finish because of how many quests and how long that game was overall. Definitely worth the money, that's for sure. Uh, how many years ago was that when I played that game? Quite a few years ago. At least by the, by this recording anyway, so... Might have to pop that in again one of these days. That's the bad thing about playing some of these games. You almost want to go back and play some of the old ones again off screen. You know, even though you've got all these new games you should be playing. Yeah. Actually, I think I'll just go back into the room, actually. Yeah. All right. Wait, wait. Let's tell them what we need to be told. Hey, dude. Hello, Hunter. Uh, hello, Hunter. Did you manage to find the elusive Magic Master Gogan? Yes, he gave us an idea of how to reseal the Dark One. Oh, it's fantastic news. What was the idea? Construct a new Ark to contain the Dark One. A uh, new Ark? Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but it may just work. You see? Explanation, explanation, explanation. Whisper, whisper, whisper. I see. So you're trusted with the task of gathering materials, then? Yes, it's the only real course of action open to us. I suppose I should for first report to the guild chief that the Gogan job was completed. Good job on that, by the way, Alex. Alright, 76 done. Now, so now, back to the new inf this information about building a new arc. Gogan said the eternal flame, eternal ice, and the eternal tree, eternal steel are required. Correct, the problem is that we have no idea where any of those items are. Well, though, we shall send out word to all the guilds to search for this information. That'd be a great help. All we need is your official order to make it happen. Alright then, my official directive is to collect information about the Eternal Flame, Eternal Ice, the Eternal Tree, and Eternal Steel. I'll get this information out to the guilds at once and send word if anything comes in. Thanks. Alright, and now we basically just have to do jobs until... Basically, I think we have to do a job and then visit a non-Paltos guild and they'll tell us. So what new jobs have opened up? What about the old jobs I haven't finished yet? 
It seems like uh, on the horizon, a lot of options are to us. But perhaps we can uh, help more people, and perhaps Marcia could get a little uh, more knowledge on the uh, uh, industry that deals with helping people. But find out what happens next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.